Well, I hope by now you all have participated in the Sinology NAS survey. If you have not, the link is in the description. Please use it, participate in that survey and win that fantastic NAS. Well, before it actually, the survey actually ends. Well, for all those people who have already participated, good luck with it. Okay, now, like I said in the previous video, we're going to be talking about Sinology Photo in this video. So, welcome back to Pixel Village and I'm Radha Krishnan. Well, it was way back in 2011 that Apple introduced us to this fantastic platform called iPhoto using their iCloud platform uh, where you can store all your photographs, a public cloud. And uh, Google followed suit uh, sometime around 2015 and they introduced uh, Google Photos to us. So anyone who's got an email ID either on uh, Apple or on uh, Google platform, well, you get a certain amount of free space that comes along with it and you can store your all your images and also your data on it and retrieve it, use it I mean, from wherever you are. Well, as long as you have a stable network, you will be able to upload and download and share and store your content online on a public platform. <laughs> well, it's no longer a secret that photography is now democratized and thanks to mobile phones and digital cameras and all that, well, almost everyone takes pictures these days and of course automatically gets uh, uploaded onto a public cloud platform like this if you have an email ID. And probably because there is no recurring expense of uh, a film or uh, a print or scanning, we keep shooting left, right and center. And of course, like I said, it gets automatically uploaded onto this public clouds. And before you realize the free space that is allocated to you or allowed for that subscription gets over, gets filled up in no time. Well, after that, of course, it's not a secret that the platforms start charging you a membership fee. Now, while that may be okay for a majority of, uh, let's say, mobile phone users, it may not be an appropriate solution for a serious photographer. Definitely for a professional, an enthusiast and a hobby photographer. Well, because they don't want to most of the time delete the stuff that uh, they have been shooting. One, the data that they create both stills and videos, they are, you know, big in size and they constantly want to review them, work on them or even share with the world. In such scenarios, what you should ideally have is not a public platform. What you should have is a solution like the Synology Photo. Synology Photos is actually your personal cloud storage sitting on your desktop. Well, it also comes with an iOS and an Android app as well, which means this behaves and functions exactly like a public platform correct as versatile as a public platform as easy to operate as a public platform except that it resides on your desktop now when i say this please don't misunderstand me yeah, that i am against uh, uh, you know the public platforms not at all it is a perfect solution for a large uh, number of large percentage of people but for that group of people that i was referring to earlier in the in the video this may be a better solution for a variety of reasons. The first one being, uh, you know, when you use your uh, public platforms, you run out of space in no time. If you're a shooter, if you're a regular shooter, 30 GB, which they provide initially, you will exhaust it in no time. Then you start paying a certain amount of money every month as a rental. Uh, most of you must be already paying a rental. Well, there are other options also like Dropbox, you know, if you want to share, you want to kind of store and all that, that also is a subscription based service. Uh, the subscription fees can change, their policies can change in the time to come and you have no control of it. If you have already uploaded a lot of data onto the cloud already, well then 
I have seen that the cloud by accident or by design make it extremely painful and difficult for you to download that data. If you want to kind of retrieve, let's say, 50 GB of data from the net on to your computer, well, that's going to take a couple of weeks, correct? Because that's the way they have actually designed it. They don't want to really kind of lose a customer. So they make it a point that you don't easily get away from their servers. Besides that, the data that you get uploaded is constantly being used uh, by uh, the service provider for deep learning. I don't really know exactly uh, the real, real uh, way in which they actually use the data, but it's a known fact that they use their data for certain analysis. But with a Synology NAS like this, with the help of Synology Photos, you can upload, download, work on or share your images, your videos, uh, your documents from your desktop or remotely from wherever you are using a laptop or a mobile device equally efficiently like a public platform. Moreover, they have their own intelligence. They also use your images only to create face recognition, uh, understanding place and stuff like that only for your use. It's not for the use of, uh, let's say, the platform owner themselves. So, which means Synology don't use your privacy information and share it with the world or use it for their own benefit. For example, if you have uploaded a lot of your family pictures onto uh, your uh, Synology photos, well, the system will start recognizing the face, uh, location, time, everything, etc. And it will store in your system for your use. It won't be used for anything else. As long as you have a very strong password and a stable power supply, because it's very important that uh, the system should be hooked on uh, to the wall, meaning connected to your LAN, your Wi-Fi network 24-7 uh, in order for you to kind of uh, retrieve that data or share the data or upload the data from wherever you are you require a steady power supply and an uninterrupted power supply. Once you have that, with the help of a mobile phone, you can do everything that you need with fantastic ease and you will never run out of space and there are no recurring expenses as well. So what I'm going to do is to quickly show you, demonstrate to you Synology Photos, how to install it, how to set it up, uh, how to upload it from the uh, computer, how to upload and share and download from your phone, etc. So let me do that. Stay with me. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to let me uh, minimize this uh, footage. Use the Synology Assistant to locate the uh, NAS and the system in your network. Once you find it, it'll come on, it'll show up. Now you have to sign in to the NAS. So for which you use your strong password. Okay. I'm not saving because I want it to be for my own. Now, this is where it becomes so important. The storage is protected by a real-time OTP, which is again given by, you know, Synology DSM. It, it's an app, you know, download and give you real-time OTP. If you put that in only, then you will be allowed access. Okay, there you go. Once you've signed in, look for uh, Package Center. Package Center is like your uh, App Store. Look for Synology, Synology Photos. Okay, there are your Synology Photos. I've already installed it. Click and open it. Once it is opened, of course, I have actually, uh, you know, been uploading a lot of stuff here. You know, a lot of things that I've been doing all this while, it's, it's kind of here. Okay, so what you have to do is to go to photos, you can store it like apps and you can also create an album which can be 
shared with others. For example, once you do this, you can actually share. This particular feature is very familiar for people who've been sharing, um, you know, Google files, I mean, Google documents and Google slides and things like that. It's exactly the same way. You can copy link and share or, uh, you know, rename the album, do whatever. You can edit share settings. Everything is available here. This is for sharing. Now going to an album, these are uh, my family, you know, images. Uh, well, the, the, the Synology photos have actually started uh, identifying phases and, and they are there. These are some videos that I've been doing. Uh, this is some very interesting uh, pictures. So this is one album. Okay, wow, nice. Look at this. Look. All right. So these are very, very interesting images here. So these are all stored. You can actually view them in, in the way you like. Now you can view them here in, in which these are the options by name. All right. By photo taken date, uh, photo share status, ascending, descending, etc. So let me open this. This is see now this is places. Leh, Ladakh, Pune district, Pune, Pimple, Saudagar, Lahul and Spiti, Anaklam. The, the intelligent system has actually started recognizing the places as well. It's, you know, it's not rocket science, but it's available. It's, it's not being shared with the entire world. So let me show you how to, you know, connect the Synology photos using the Synology photos app. It's available for uh, Android and iOS as well. So go to Play Store, uh, look for Synology photos and uh, click open. I have already installed it. I'm going to open it. And of course, I've also signed into the app. Everything that you uploaded from your mobile phone stays under a separate folder called mobile backup. Click open that and your phone, it will be saved under your phone name. So click here and all my, you know, folders are here cameras and Facebook. You can, in fact, in the setting of the uh, phone, you can tell the Synology photos to back up only those folders which you want to, uh, you know, kind of upload and share. It's, it's right here. Once you do that, go to setting and you can do all your settings right here. You know, you can play back quality if you want to play it back. Well, you can set it for quality. You can set it for speed because now we are online. So we are using, you know, a mobile network. Then speed may be what you have to choose. Uh, show dates and locations. Of course, uh, you have many, many different uh, kind of options. The most interesting one is that once you have uploaded, you can even delete those pictures automatically. And if you give the instruction, it will delete all those uploaded photographs from your mobile devices, thereby giving you more space to create more images. Um, so it's as simple as that. So all the pictures that I have shot is here. Uh, let me pick up uh, some images here. So let's say, okay, this is a set of images that we shot uh, in the studio. Now, imagine you want to share this image to somebody. All you have to do is to press the share button and you're ready to share to wherever you want. Insta, Facebook, um, you know, Twitter, uh, wherever you want, it's all available here. Facebook and it will actually download and then it starts sharing. There you are. I am ready to share it with the world now. I'm not going to do that now. So it's as easy as that. Now, in fact, you can store anything that you want. I mean, you, it can be files, it can be videos, it can be, like I said, anything what is digital can be stored here, secured here and you can share it, retrieve it, and work with it from any part of the globe. All you need is a robust network. Okay, 
Now, let me also at the same time tell you that uh, setting up a NAS is very different from setting up a simple external storage device. It's not exactly a plug and play. There's a little bit of learning curve that is involved, but don't worry, Synology has covered it for you. They have a, a solid, very strong knowledge center, uh, text and videos, all the possible doubts that you may uh, have in your head is already solved and those videos and the help is available online on their uh, knowledge center and for those who have some peculiar problem who still want some assistance yes there is a chat help that is available just click on the link and start chatting with their tech help team and they're pretty good and they'll help you solve your problem uh, between the knowledge center and the chat I'm sure everything will be solved because once you know it, it's as simple. It's it's only a one-time setup, uh, you know, is all that you require. You can order your Synology NAS through Amazon India. Moreover, you can sleep peacefully because there is a Synology authorized service center in India. Now, Synology recommends uh, NAS depending on your expertise level. If you are a beginner, okay, let me go to that particular page. Well, Synology recommends the DS220J. It's a compact entry level, uh, you know, server. Uh, then you have the 420 plus and then if you are a serious user, you're a professional, you're a wedding photographer, Wedding photographers, let me tell you, this going, they're going to really like it because once they install the photos into it, Synology photos into it and dump all your, uh, you know, raw files into it, your team can pick it up and start working on the images and allocate a portion, uh, a shared folder to your guys who are designing your album. The videos can go to your video editor all of them can simultaneously access those stills and video files from the NAS and start working on them without losing any more quality time. So, well, what we have here is the DS1621 Plus. It's slightly advanced system, but these are the ones which you can pick. I mean, and you can populate them with the kind of uh, storages that you want. Uh, for example, this one is a four bay uh, system. And you can, if you want, you can actually populate it with 10 TB uh, individual hard disk, which will actually give you 40 TB. With 10 TB for a redundancy will give you 30 TB. I mean, that's a fantastic storage. Moreover, you can actually extend it. There are extension boxes available, which works seamlessly with it. And so the whole system will then start working like one storage. Well, I can actually keep talking about this fantastic system forever because I'm really, really in love with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, of course, NAS, once you get onto NAS and the convenience of NAS, well, you're a slave forever. Let me guarantee you that. Well, what else? Try your luck with that survey. Take that survey. Try Synology photos. I'm sure you will love it. If you are interested in uh, learning photography, please head over to pixelvillage.com. We have a set of fantastic photography teachers there taking classes for you. They're all recorded sessions. You can watch the bouquet of offering. And if you like it, you can subscribe. Bye for now.